Hey guys, it's Maple here once again, and the Delirium uh, little manifesto just came out, which is essentially a response to a bunch of the criticism that's been going on about the current league, uh, mostly about, you know, visibility issues, uh, some frame drops, some unfair monster types, that sort of thing. And I did talk about it on stream, or at least go over on stream and give some of my viewpoints on it. And it did end up being a little bit of a doom and gloom or negative take, but that's because I was a bit frustrated from plenty of, of these mechanics and uh, launch stuff. And uh, it was about seven hours into my stream, so it might be a little um, not too positive. And uh, I just wanted to you know, let you guys watch it live how it was and uh, see my take on it. But uh, rest assured, I'm actually still having a lot of fun in this league, and it is, uh, I think, a good league league idea. I am just uh, getting kind of shafted by some frame drops, and also I do think there is plenty of improvement to be made upon the visibility and um, certain things with the league, but I'm loving my character, and I'm loving the new mechanics of the stuff that they've put in. Uh, you know, skills and all that. And I'm still really enjoying the uh, grinding of the end game, putting in easy eight to 10 hours a day quite happily. So don't get dissuaded by this and uh, hopefully take what I say with a grain of salt because I'm just another guy playing a video game, not really anyone too influential or, you know, I shouldn't be too influential is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, if you just like want my take on um, this manifesto that just came out, I uh, have it for you right now. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Develop Manifesto, thanks so much for your valuable feedback since launch. In this manifesto, we'd like to summarize the changes that we plan to make in the near future. Know that these are still in early discussion, haven't been implemented, tested yet. Oh, so it's a fucking long way away. So the plans may change over the next few days. For speed, we'll likely apply these types of changes and patches as soon as they're ready, rather than delaying to be played all at once. True. Delirium Monster Damage. As you travel deeper into the mist, the life, damage, and rewards from monsters become higher. Players have commented that they feel that monsters become too dangerous and deep in the encounters. The monster damage bonus scales up to 30% increased at absolute most. Really? We're reviewing, we are reviewing all of the delirium monsters and skills to find any that are overtuned. We'll be making adjustments to any that might be dealing disproportionate damage. Um, okay, here's the problem with that. It doesn't fucking matter. It's not necessary. Um, picture this. You run a hard map. Yeah, 15, whatever. Some dangerous monsters. And you've got 30% increased damage modifier, monster damage modifier on that map. As you may often do. That's a lot of extra damage already, and those things are mega fucking dangerous. But you basically insta-kill shit, and that is, for the most part, the way that that is balanced. And then you've got a boss or two you've got to dodge the mechanics on, and they hit really hard, but you can dodge it. 30% increased against things that start taking forever to die, and, like, there's a lot of them, and they're all just shitting out attacks, is, like, infinite. Because the game is currently balanced around you being able to kill that shit quickly. This is how it is. It's balanced around fucking quick death. If, it, if like, packs survive for a long time, you're gonna get hit by shit. You're gonna fucking die when it does that much more damage. This just straight up isn't necessary. You either scale things to increase damage or to increase life and defense and thus time to kill them. You don't need both. There's my 200 fucking IQ take. What do I know? I'm a retard. Rewards bar. When you touch the mirror of delirium, a random reward type is chosen for the encounter. When you kill a certain number of monsters, you earn an additional instance of that reward type that drops when the encounter finishes. Currently, the rate at which that reward bar fills up is not proportional to the depth of the monsters you are fighting. Monsters deeper in the midst do not fill up faster. True. Name charity pro tip. Get the raw wheel blade and wheels in the covers for the arms. It'll last for it. I'm fine. Equilox, thanks for 3 more 3 uh, We felt this was appropriate for release because the other rewards that the league grants, such as Cluster Jewels, Delirium Mobs, Splinters, and the extremely high quantity of rarity bonuses, do all encourage you to kill as many monsters as possible, which promise clearing as deep as you can. We're considering having the reward bar fill more quickly as you kill deeper monsters. We didn't have the change ready in time for launch. 
plan to make this change in the near future. Okay. I guess slightly more fucking whatever. That's fine. Um, paralyzing, wasting, eroding, diluting, touch debuffs. We're reducing the length of these debuffs so, they're ab so that they are substantially shorter. It'll also greatly reduce the quantity that accumulates on you. Change is likely to be in today's patch. Okay, that's good. Quanny thinks we're seven. Monster on death effects. Currently, there's a random chance for individual delirium monsters to have mods that cause on death effects. We are internally experimenting with moving these to be pack based so there's more variance in when you encounter them. Rebalancing them around this and improving how they are signaled. Okay, good, I guess. For those interested in why we use on death effects and content like this, because they are a viable way of making monsters that are killed instantly have an effect on players. They aren't trivialized by a clear speed. If you don't know the mods we can put on these monsters make any difference normally because they are eradicated by powerful builds in seconds. I'm going to be toning these down either way. I mean, it's more or less fine. As long as the signaling is there, and it's currently not, and there's too much of it. That's, that's my opinion, right? Like, OG... The most OG on kill effect is like, you know, the volatile dead, right? Volatile flame load. And it took them a long time to get to its final stage where it then makes this big red bubble and makes a big sound. And that's just one example. Whereas nowadays, that, sh that like gray on gray stuff that just fucking spawns and then explodes randomly and shit. Oh man, it's so bad. It's so not well signaled. That needs to be much better. Oh, like... And I don't know. I am triggered by those posts where people are complaining about stuff. Um, the color on color and stuff. Because, yeah, I agree. And it triggers the fuck out of me. When Katarina first came out, it was like green on green on green. And you're just like, what the fuck am I actually supposed to do? And it was really hard to tell. And this like gray on gray on gray is like really fucking annoying and hard to tell what's happening. And would it honestly be the end of the world if this entire thing was gray on gray? And then there's like sort of a dark red monster that spawns and you're like okay i'm not supposed to get touched by that would that be the end of the fucking world no it's you'd still have to avoid it you'd see it it'd be challenging to avoid in certain situations it'd be fucking fine i think i just don't see that as that much of a negative that they can't do it Delirium alongside previous content. Delirium increases the difficulty and reward of all other Path of Exile content. However, players have reported that it doesn't feel worthwhile to run past content under the effects of Delirium because you lose precious time dealing with that content's overheads. We plan to add bonus time to the Delirium event when you trigger past content in order to make up for this. The amount of bonus time will vary from content to content to make it fair. That's fine. That is an okay paragraph to have read. Remove noob text? Why? Well, I'm here telling you how to feel about this. Who gives a shit? You're not reading past the part I'm reading anyway. I'm reading it to you. Delirium item drop vacuuming. We totally understand the feedback that delirium, that delirium makes you want to go fast and not pick up items requiring you to then backtrack to grab anything decently dropped. There have been requests to accumulate all items that would drop and instead drop them at the end of the encounter. I don't really like that solution either. This, you know, delve cart style. This is not how we want the game to be played. True. We have only done it in the past when it would have been impossible to access the items afterwards, if they're in an incursion area or in the darkness during delve. While it's tempting to take every opportunity to vacuum up all the items that drop and present them to you in one go, that is not how the core game loop of action, um, just action RPGs, ARPGs, should function. In addition, even if we wanted to, it's not really even practical to vacuum an entire map worth of items dropping in one place. Also true. During our internal testing before release, we increase the length of time that delirium counters last so the players have extra time to pick up items as they go. 
Item filters help alert you to which items are important to grab, and we did intentionally compensate with extra time for you to do so. That's just an extra long way of saying get fucked, no? Which is, I don't know. More or less fine. I don't really disagree with the fact that you got to go back and loot sometimes. Especially if you're trying to push faster. So, I, I don't know. There's no good solution there. Just increasing the time of the thing again will be fine, I think. And they are going to increase it for us. Just use item filters, bruh. <laughs> Depth meter. Because the distance from the start of the encounter matters quite a lot for both the relative difficulty of monsters, chance that additional mobs are spawned and the level increased item drops rarity that you receive, we are considering adding an indicator in the user interface which shows the relative difficulty. This might be in the form of a number next to the reward bar that shows the rate at which they're increased by. I like that. Instead of just going, I'm crashing, I'm crashing, I'm crashing, we, everything's great, holy fucking shit, this pack won't die, I'm dead, what? I think that would be a good change. Performance. It looks like we broke something with 3.1. Really? We don't know what it is yet. Indeed. We are investigating, we'll fix it. The high priority, I'm really sorry that it was released like that. We... We're unaware of the issue from our internal testing, but became quickly aware of it upon launch. Annoyingly, it affects some computers users a lot more than others. Yep. We now have a couple of computers in the office that reliably reduce problems, so we're using those to debug it. Yep. Yeah, I mean, my shit's pretty scuffed. It's playable, but it is... It is bad. Visibility. We have various ideas to improve visibility, such as investigating, improving color grading, adding clearer effects to monsters with mods, improving skill effects, and so on. We don't know exactly which set of these experiments we deployed yet, but we do want to make it easier to see what's going on. Expect to see some improvements soon. I don't know what to say about that. I'm not sure what to say about that, because it's it's kind of a frustrating thing to read. Like saying they've got ideas to improve visibility. I'm just not sure where to go with this rant. Like essentially... They're saying, we launched it this way, intended, it's fine, we thought it was good. We see you're annoyed about it. Uh-oh. I guess we need some visibility. We don't understand why, though. We'll check it out and give you some upgrades. Like, I don't even know how to fucking verbalize what's happening here. The way it's written, it's like we we just didn't agree with what you're saying. But we'll try to adjust it now and learn nothing from our mistakes for the next league. That's basically what I'm reading. Sounds like someone upset his build isn't working the way he wanted. No, my build's working fine. I'm not upset with my build either. I, I just don't like the way things are currently um, looking. The fact that everything's pretty much a big mesh of grey and the hard stuff that's supposed to be hard and avoidable isn't that avoidable or obvious or easy to identify. And I don't think that should have been like a hot take and something that the community needs to say. Anyway, no, I'm not unhappy with my build. Do you feel PoE may be outgrowing GG's capabilities slowly? No, it's not. It's just, it's outgrowing their capabilities to do everything at once. In a perfect world, we get like a perfect league launch, but it'll take them twice as long to do. And they're not doing that. And you guys don't want that either. They like their three month cycle because... It's extremely profitable 
compared to like a four month or a five month or a six month cycle. And you guys want them to bring it out every three months because you play for two to four weeks and then go, all right, I'll come back in a couple months. What's next? Gimme, gimme. Currently, it doesn't function perfectly because they run out of time. They run, they don't have enough tests. They're still working on other shit. They're constantly working way too far ahead. It works profitability wise. It works player fucking growth wise, but it's definitely not a perfect model. And they have, that's just the one they've chosen because they are still valuing growth and um, financial gain. If growth and financial gain straight up didn't matter, then yes, they'd cut from like three month cycles to six month cycles, but it's dumb. It doesn't work. At least that's as far as I can tell. Yeah, that's not to guarantee that they wouldn't still have problems in the future, but I'm saying in the current model, it's definitely not. Um, as good as it could be. But they're definitely still, they still have to prioritize, you know, making money and growing the game. And doing that is a three month cycle where there are going to be broken things, where there are going to be non-perfected mechanics and stuff not fully tested shit but it's there because they're constantly trying to churn stuff out and keep you engaged by giving you more content um and then yep you return choose a keybind in the options eventually that's good i guess good <laughs> hasn't killed me yet but um i'm not playing hardcore so it hasn't really affected me thus far but definitely something that should have happened to begin with Summary TLDR, monster damage, nerfing on a case-by-case -case basis, adjusting on death effects, improving visuals, great. Rewards, monster deeper in the mist will count more for progress on the encounter bar, great. On hit debuff, substantially reduced duration, great. On death effects, investigating pack-based mods instead of individual, balancing it to be in line with this, improving telegraphing. Okay, I guess. Past content in Delirium, adding time to the Delirium encounter when interacting with these past encounters, good. Item drop vacuuming, no, sorry. Fair, I suppose. Especially with all the other changes, that shouldn't be as big of an issue, I don't think, anyway. Depth meter, investigating a way to do this, great. Performance, yep. Investigated, not sure what is causing the recent regression, fair enough. At least they're trying. Visibility, yep, we're working on improving this. Great, I just don't understand why that was ever something that needed to be rectified. Make and delirium button bindable, true. This is sub delirium changes that we are currently working on. Very eager to see what you think. Okay. Um, well, that should be an interesting Reddit thread. I have no doubt it will be plenty angry. They should extend the cycle. Look, it doesn't fucking matter. They should this, they should that. It doesn't matter. They're not going to. It's not happening. Your suggestions, my suggestions like that don't matter.